The obsession with protein is feeding a protein craze that's, well, everywhere. When you go to the grocery store, there are lots of high-protein foods that are being marketed. Feeding into research in this University of Missouri School of Medicine laboratory. Dr. Bettina Mittendorfer is the Senior Associate Dean for Research, and she's the director of the NextGen Precision Health Clinical and Translational Science Unit. Mittendorfer is leading the research about consuming protein, and what amount is too much. Protein is also added to different products, uh, particularly striking to me is that protein seems to be so popular that it is being added to water. That's because a diet high in protein is promoted as part of a healthy lifestyle. Many diets encourage consumers to reduce carbohydrates and fats in favor of protein to lose weight and gain lean muscle. But studies show there is a limit for most people. Mittendorfer and her colleagues have uncovered how consuming too much protein in excess of the recommended daily allowance is bad for your health and does not add to the development of lean muscle. So there is no more muscle growth with higher amounts of protein. So the recommended daily intake of protein is about 60 grams per day. And so when you assume three meals a day, this would come to about 20 grams, maybe even if you eat a little bit more, 30 grams of protein per meal in a day. The more protein you eat, the more synthesis of these muscle proteins happens. But then it levels off right around that 25 to 30 grams threshold. And so what that means actually is you can eat uh, protein in excess of 25 to 30 grams um, in a meal, but you won't build any more muscle with that unless you're a resistance exercise training uh, person and young potentially. Otherwise, too much protein triggers signals at the cellular level that result in adverse cardiovascular and metabolic health effects. High protein intake in various forms is associated with cardiometabolic diseases um, such as cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes and prediabetes. The study combines small human trials with experiments in mice and cells. As consumption of the dietary protein increases, so does the consumption of the amino acid called leucine found in animal protein foods such as beef, eggs, and milk. This is signaling and triggering the cellular activity in the macrophage cells in the blood. The amino acids, they can trigger in the cell mechanisms that cause these diseases through specific signaling mechanisms and then also altering the metabolism of these cells. For instance, the um, macrophages that are small immune cells in the vasculature that trigger the development of atherosclerosis. The resulting atherosclerosis, or hardening of the arteries, is a leading risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Additional clinical trials are needed to evaluate the effects of different amounts and types of dietary proteins on the signaling pathways. At that point, researchers can evaluate current dietary guidelines for protein intake and make recommendations.